Hello, welcome back to Diamond Mama. As always, this is Ashley, and this video I have been super excited about because it is going to be my first start to finish video. I do have to say that I am sad because I was supposed to get something to make a over the shoulder view a lot easier than what I have to work with. So I'm going to try to do the whole over the shoulder um, instead of watching me do the diamond painting like this because that would be boring. So if it doesn't turn out the way that most other YouTube videos are, bear with me. I promise I am waiting on something right now um, that will make that a lot better. But, on to the video. This first part is going to be just me getting ready because it's a start to finish so I figured I'm going to do a start to finish literally starting out by starting out um, which means doing putting my diamonds in the jars labeling them everything. So, let's get started on labeling some jars. Okay. That is done. Taking the first four. When I label my jars, I can't remember if I've said this in any of my other videos, but when I do this, I put the name of the painting and then I'll put number one and then I'll put the number of the color down there on the side just I don't know I've always done that since I first got my jars to do that with I was like them it's easy and I can keep up with it And of course, the fun part. Most of the time when I do this, I find it very relaxing, actually. Literally everything about this hobby I find relaxing. I love it. Um, the only thing about this part that I do not like is when all of the diamonds don't want to come out of the bag because of static. It gets annoying. But, if you take a dryer sheet and take, like, cut off a corner, just cut it in little tiny pieces and stick them in whatever you're putting your diamonds in. Looks like a charm. I'm getting all of the static electricity out. put number four on what was supposed to be my three. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> is how I take this off also. Um, is I will just get rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. And just wipe it off. But since I am doing a video, pretty sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me take permanent marker off a container. Because it doesn't take a really long time, but it, it is a little time consuming. Especially when you got multiple colors. Well, obviously all diamond paintings have multiple colors. But when you have 20, 30 colors, it takes a while. One thing for sure is I am loving all of these bright colors. I have been wanting this painting for a while now. Um, I just didn't know how big to go with it because there really isn't a lot of detail so I figured it didn't have to be huge but I didn't want a really small one either like this one that I have now I do wish that it was bigger but I won't complain with this one but now Seeing all of the really bright colors in it, I am already loving this painting more and more. And depending on how it turns out once it's done, I may end up getting a bigger one. I don't know what I will do with it after it's done. But at least I'll have it. Another thing that I was waiting for in the mail, which the tracking number finally popped up and said that it would be here today, but it wasn't was I am waiting on to paint my numbers. I used to love doing paint my numbers. It's really the, besides for paint my numbers and drawings, like that's the only two hobbies I did as a kid. And then I started doing latch hook later on, but paint my number was something that always stuck. Well, I, the only paint my numbers that I ever did were the, the oil paintings and I loved them. I didn't like the fact that I needed a really strong smelling chemical to clean my brush out with but 
all the same. I loved doing them. I loved watching my picture come to life as the colors went down. That I got to mark the colors off. Um, but then I went to the store where I always got them and realized that they no longer had the ones in oil paintings anymore. The only ones that I could get were the ones where I had to mix the numbers. So I was disappointed, but I loved paying my numbers, so I bought one that you had to mix the numbers. And it was a disaster. Oh, it was so bad. Every time that I would get a number just right, the color that I needed, <clears throat> I'd never be able to do it again. So, I would have to try to mix up enough paint for me to have enough to make the whole picture which never happened um i think i may have bought like three or four of the ones where i had to mix the numbers and i never finished any of them so i gave up on that because i never knew where to find oil paintings that you didn't have to mix the numbers. Well, then I found that AliExpress has some paint by numbers and a few other stores that I have been, or websites that I've been looking around on also have paint by numbers. And as far as I can tell, I don't think that you have to mix any of the numbers, but I don't know for sure. Fingers crossed that you don't, because I just bought two of them. And if I can't do them, I'm going to be mad and sad. But anyway, they were supposed to be here today, and they weren't. Another thought that I had was possibly doing a product review for the paint by numbers because I know, in my opinion, I don't just have one hobby. I like all kinds of hobbies. Diamond painting definitely being my favorite right now, but I love I'm going painting, paint my numbers, drawing, um, latch hook. I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried that, but it's super fun. I've tried sewing, like cross stitch a little bit, but I've literally have been working on a blanket that is cross stitch for like... I don't know, probably five years. It's it's a very slow process. I get everything out and start working on it, and then either something comes up or I just get into something else because it doesn't really have my full attention. But it is fun, and I do like it, and I do want to eventually finish that blanket. But... I like all kinds of hobbies. So, I was wondering and thinking that maybe you guys would enjoy Paint by Number product review and then possibly a start to finish with the Paint by Numbers. If you were, or if, you know, yeah, if you 
think that you will be interested. I can't figure out my words tonight. Just leave a comment below and let me know. Also, I, on my last video, I haven't added it to any of my other videos, um, but on my last one, I included a link to my Facebook and Instagram accounts. And I am soon to be getting a Twitter account also. I just haven't done it yet. I really don't know why either. Alrighty. I had gotten a comment a while back ago asking how I get my glues in here. So, since I'm getting ready for a new painting, I'm going to show you guys. It is a little bit difficult prying this stuff out. There we go. One thing I do recommend that whenever you get this stuff out to make sure that your hands are clean. Like, because it's already going to get somewhat dirty just by touching it. Um, but if your hands haven't been washed recently and for you got like dirt or I mean anything on them it is going to show up but I just take the plastic off mix the square Just put it right back in there. Because of the bottom, I don't know if you guys can see that. It doesn't all the way touch. It bugs me. It's something that I guess is a preference. But because it's not all the way in there, it drives me nuts. So I just kind of push the glue down with the end of my tweezers. Easy as one, two, three. All right. So, as far as I can tell, that is the end of that one. And the next one, or next video, will be right after this. Or, like, the over-the-shoulder one. I am having, like blockage tonight. I'm just like dumb moment after dumb moment. <laughs> so I completely apologize to you guys. Um, for the over the shoulder view, I have to stop the video and then start it again. So I haven't really quite decided how I'm wanting to do that. If I'm going to 
make this video and then make it two separate videos or if I'm just going to cut to the next scene to where it's going to be like bye and then a second later you're looking at my painting I don't know um, my husband does all that editing stuff for me so I guess I will leave that up to him or see what it looks like and decide from there but either way you guys will be getting this video and the start of the actual painting same day so I will see you guys here in just a few minutes.